guys, it's Gain all of here back with another video. And today we've got the long awaited return of the Generation Squad Bros series. The second episode is going to be around the brilliant 90 Kaka Cop and FIFA 10. I mean, just look at those stats 93 pace, 90 shooting, 92 passing, 94 dribbling. This card was absolutely incredible on the game. So let's get right into the team with the goalkeeper going to be Sirigu from FIFA 15. I remember this card, he was one of the best goalkeepers on the game. 84 rated, 85 diving, 87 reflexes, 79 handling, and 84 positioning as best stats. Our first in the back is going to be Marquinhos from PSG and Brazil. We're going to use his card from FIFA 14, which is 79 pace, 81 defending, and 74 heading, because that card is really, it's just really OP with the 79 pace. And our, our final centre back is going to be Thiago Silva. I mean, we could really pick any of his cards. We're going to use the one all the way back from FIFA 13 with the triple for PSG. The 82 pace, 88 defending, 82 heading. I don't really need to see it anymore. And our right back is going to be Nelson Semedo from FIFA 17 when he had just moved from Benfica to Barcelona. He was brilliant last year. I remember his card. Um, it was, I used it quite a lot in like. Sorry for this. Welcome, guys. Um, oh yeah, I used it quite a lot in like in like League of BBA and Port Fee Hybrids. This card was sick. The left back is going to be a very, very popular player from. It's been popular on FIFA for ages. It's going to be Ty where we're going to use his non upgraded FIFA 10 card. 84 pace, 71 shooting for left back is amazing. 77 passing, 82 defense, and 81 heading. And Ty was long shots as well. Absolutely incredible. Devin Louise is going to be get going, coming up next. We're going to use his FIFA 13 man of match card. 80 pace for central defensive midfielder. And he's got 73 shooting, 75 passing, 73 dribbling, 81 defending, and 80 heading. What a card. And our final central midfielder is going to be Lucas, the cam card from PSG. I remember his, this card. 92 pace, 88 dribbling, 77 shooting, 78 passing. No other midfielder getting past him. Right wing is going to be Alexis Sanchez back when he was at Barcelona. We're going to use this card from FIFA 11. He's 86 red card, 91 pace, 89 dribbling, 76 shooting, 76 passing, and just amazing stats. Left wing is going to be, again, another another popular player. It's going to be Michel Bastos. We are going to use his FIFA, again, I think it's FIFA 11 card there. That yeah, card was absolutely amazing. 87 pace, 83 shooting, and 82 dribbling. With 75 defending and 72 heading. With 83 shooting, 70 passing. Just how has he got 75 defending for a left wing? That's absolutely incredible. And finally, in the centre forward position, we're going to go with Neymar. We're going to use an 84 through 14 card. 90 pace, 92 dribbling, and 80 shooting. With 76 passing and 5 star skills and 5 star weak foot. Guys, that team is absolutely incredible. Imagine if. if if EA actually introduced generations teams into FIFA and I imagine if you had that team that team would be unstoppable if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to good other YouTube channel for more videos and also subscribe to my second channel and the Geekcore channel both in the description go subscribe now and guys I'll see you later peace out